Hello everybody, my name is Ikanemo, welcome back for another video of NHL 22 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we went ahead and simulated pretty much all the way until the, pre uh, the uh, trade deadline. We did it quite a lot, 60 games played. My players overall are doing okay. Uh, with my brand new lineup, my first line, uh, that's pretty good line. I mean, Besser, Matthews, and Turvine and at a plus 5 overall. As you can see, there was an update where the colors changed up a little bit, so a little bit more darkish colors uh, for red, blue, uh, uh, red, uh, green, and yellow and stuff like that. But uh, it's working out really good for them for the first line. And second line is not doing too good, though. That's the problem. Now, Toffoli is a right winger, though. I don't know why he's playing on the this side. Yeah, Toffoli should be playing on the right wing position. That might explain why some stuff are not going too well. Uh, let me just figure out though. So Toffoli, why was he playing there? I think he should he shouldn't be playing there. So he's a 90 of end eye. Okay, so he's much better than Poli Yarvi, that's for sure. And Rakko, he's a 89. Yeah, all right. So much better already. So you can see we're gonna put uh, Toffoli in there. And uh, same thing for, okay, so Besser is a 90. So we're going to put uh, Pick Besser, keep an editor, uh, Rackle, and Puliyarvi. I'm not too sure which one I want to keep right here. Whoever's got the most points, so 85, 83. Yeah, keep Rackle in there and keep Puliyarvi in there, I guess. Uh, Puliyarvi still growing, though. No, Rackle, I want to keep him there, I guess. Unless Puliyarvi, no, let's uh, keep him like that. Uh, for the next part... I think I uh, definitely want to look between these guys. So 87, 90, definitely want to have a new hook in there. Uh, for this guy, 989, 92. Machisney has got to be in there. It's got to be in there. Uh, 88 uh, and 89. All right, so that's what we're going to do. If we put Puliyarvi in there, yeah. Okay, no, so we're going to keep it like that. We'll keep it like that. And Machisney is going to be playing on the second line with a uh, new hook boy. So we got our two big time players that are going to be working together. All right. So that's what we're going to do. Um, next up is I want to look at the trade deadline. We're going to look at uh, potential trades that we can do. Uh, we aren't doing too good. Our players are doing good in terms of points. But all that is worth nothing if we can't trade away our, our, our players. Right. So uh, we do have a problem. Uh, coming up which is the fact that uh, we have some old timers that are starting to really drop uh, as you're going about to see all right our offense is okay it's our defense that's struggling look at that uh, one two three four five defensemen that could play uh, Yendo which is playing is he dropped he dropped big time burns as well as a 78 overall now so we need to possibly trade away maybe Burns. He's got a good trade value, uh, Brain Burns. Got a good trade value and he's a 78 overall, which we don't have space for him. So we'll try and trade him away. Let's try and find a better defenseman, which is not going to be hard to do at all, boys. It's really not going to be hard to do. So let's do that. And let me make sure that we uh, get, there we go, the overalls. We got to find somebody that's uh, in the same range, really. Uh, we don't need to find like a 90s player or whatever. Uh, a Drew Dali, I mean, we could get some good players in there. If we can get him in exchange for Brent Burns at 78 overall, and he's injured as well, that would be great. Uh, we would have to give them something. We do have some prospects. As you can see, Montador is now 78 overall. We got a 75 overall. Cloutier, he's a 2A forward, right? Yeah, Cloutier is a 2A forward. Uh, we could trade him away, but uh, that would give, the, give up a little bit too much right there. Uh, we could give up uh, this guy, though. The top six player. He's a playmaker, though, so I kind of want to keep him uh, around just to make sure. Then again, he's, if he's just a, a top six, he's not going to grow too much for us. L maybe throw him in there. Throw them in there and they can give us instead a, like a draft pick or something. So maybe they can give us third round. I think that would work out, right, uh, boys. So maybe Brent Burns for this prospect. Uh, Bernier, a top six player. When did we draft him? At uh, the third round pick. Okay, so for Cider, 
and uh, a third round pick, boys. And so medium elite player, basically. Let's see if that's going to work out. That is not going to work out. Okay. Uh, a fourth round pick could work out. Nope, either. Fifth, uh, a fifth round pick. I'm sure I can get a fifth. Nope, not even. All right, so don't think it's going to go true. Uh, I think we're just going to go straight up like this. That's going to get refused either way. So even Bernier is not enough. That's quite interesting. I thought E would be enough, boys, but I guess not. We would have to give them a little bit more, which I don't have anything. I could give them Cloutier, I guess. I guess I could uh, give them Cloutier, but now I w they would have to give me something in exchange because he's got some good potential. Uh, they, they would have to give me a third round at least. A third round, even a second round, man. So let's try it like that. Give me a second round pick with uh, Cider, and I'll give you Burns and Cloutier, which you both you want them both. So, damn, they don't want to. Okay, third round, third round pick. There we go. All right, so we got a third round pick. At least we got that. So we got a pick in exchange. So a third round pick, and Cider, big time upgrade from Brand Burns right there. Big time upgrade, boys. So first thing we're gonna do. Is we're gonna head back into the roster moves that's our first trade out of three that we can do it doesn't mean that we need to do three trades per se but i think we do we are gonna need to do at least two of them because our defense is uh is looking pretty weak so with snyder uh, cider now added to the team definitely upgrades the whole team and everything so uh let's find out uh yendo you don't need to play anymore cider is gonna be replacing you there we go all right, so Cider is going on the top line. Obviously, he's going to be playing with uh, Dumba. I want to play him on this natural position since he's got a lot of years to grow. And Dumba is way finished to uh, pass the, uh, the the growth line right there. So we're going to keep Shillington in there with Devin Tays. And Fleury is uh, going to drop down to the third one, uh, third duel with uh, uh, Kulikov and stuff. Uh, next thing I could do is maybe upgrade something but i don't feel like i need to upgrade my offense at all my weak point is definitely the defense uh big time and uh goaltending wise i'm doing much uh i'm doing fine so we're gonna keep upgrading i don't know what i can get though uh other f uh, other other than uh what i already got i got a uh, pretty much a good trade right there so i don't know what i could possibly get uh else from the def defense position We'll try and find some good stuff, but uh, as you can see right here, we just need to find another 80s overall player uh, to replace a Yendo that's in the 79s. So we got Zub. I mean, we got some players. There we go. There's uh, Travis Dermott. He's a two-way defenseman. Uh, let's pick him up. Let's pick this guy up, I guess. He's good enough. He's 28 years of age, boys. So we'll uh, we'll do that trade. It's not, it's not worth anything. And uh, let's do that trade. So it's going to be a really small trade and everything. So Keith Yendel, where is he at? He's right there. They want him as well. So that's going to be perfect for us. Just a straight up trade. Uh, clear a trade. I guess they want me to give them something in exchange. I could give you my 7th, I guess. So uh, Yendel in the 7th. That's not even enough. Yendel in the 6th, I guess. There we go. So Yendel in the six for uh, Travis Dermott. Uh, why not? So that's a clear upgrade. We upgraded uh, our defense now. So that's okay. Now that uh, we upgraded that, maybe there's some forwards available. You never know. There might be something uh, interesting in the looks. In the So uh, we're going to take a look really quick. I don't think we're going to find anything crazy. Uh, Quinton Byfield could be a good one. Power forward. So he's available. He's an available type of player that we could try and get. Uh, we also have Nico Ishia, but Nico Ishia is a 2 4 so we don't want him. Anything else that could uh, be of value? Not really. We could try and go for Quinton Byfield, boys. Uh, that is an option that we could try and upgrade our center position right here. Not too sure how we're going to do that, though. I mean, we could do, do it via uh, Ryan Strom, upgrade Ryan Strom. Uh, Malkin doesn't have a lot of uh, value. 
to say the least. He's our fourth player. He's a really good player for us. Type of player that will help us out in the playoffs. Uh, if I go for him, it's not going to be worth anything. So we don't want that. Maybe Ryan Strom. Someone like Ryan Strom could be enough, boys. Uh, I, I'm not sure. We can try that. So he's worth a little bit more. Oh, hold on. There we go. Let's get rid of Malkin. And let's get Ryan Strom instead. There we go. Already a lot more value. They're kind of the same. They kind of have the similar value right here. Don't think I can get anything in return. Just a straight up trade like this. Hopefully it would go true. It did. Straight up trade boys. It did go true. We uh, traded away Ryan Strom. In exchange for Quinton Byfield. 90, uh, 90 uh, overall. That is uh, fantastic right there. 90 overall, he's 22 years of age. We are building up our team, boys, with a bunch of prospect players right here. We are literally building up our pill, uh, pick uh, team with uh, between Byfield, Newhook. Uh, we've got all, uh, we've got McChesney as well. I mean, we got all these players, and uh, we are doing really good. We got all these time, uh, big time prospects, a cider as well. So we're definitely building up our team right now it's i like to see that i like to uh i definitely like to see that so uh obviously byfield is going to be upwards he's going to play above a uh, new hook so that's uh, an obvious uh thing going on right there and uh matthews is going to be playing there so new hook is going to be playing on the third line and uh that's unfortunate uh, for the combination right here i wanted to get but machismi gets to play with byfield an even better player and we are obviously uh, going to uh, look at the lineup. So Malkin is playing right here. We are good to go, boys. Nothing else. We did our three trades. Big time, huge trades. So let's keep it going. Start the simulation again. Against Colorado, we end up losing our first game, 5-4. to four. There's a win against uh, the Lightning, which is exactly what I want to see. Let's get a lot of wins, boys. I just got you i just got my team a lot of uh a, a lot of strong players and stuff like that uh, strong big time players and the prospects as that that are just only gonna grow even further so big time trade uh klimberg going to philadelphia flyers in exchange for a first round pick and scribbins interesting so a big time trade uh first round pick going to change uh san jose uh, in exchange for Carlson. Carlson's going to Toronto, boys. Well, look at that. Would you look at that? Then that's going to be a W uh, for the uh, the Vancouver Canucks as well. So that's crazy. That's a big time trade right there. A big time acquisition as well for uh, uh, from the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs part, getting themselves uh, their hand on a big time D man. Winnipeg got uh, Chris Letan, so good Win Winnipeg as well. And um, anybody else? Let's look around really quick. And the Kopitar boys is going to Vancouver. And Anifin as well. No Anifin and Enze Kopitar. Okay. Getting themselves some veterans right there. Really good. I, I like to see that. Lots of uh, big time trades. Sean Monahan going to Colorado. All right. We got a lot of big trades uh, this year, it looks like. Big time trades. I still think one of the biggest trades is by far the Byfield one, and uh, you know uh, the si the um, the uh, the other one, my uh, the def defenseman I got as well. That those are pretty much a biggest trade. I think Klingbird one is a good trade as well, and Carlson going to Toronto is a huge one as well. But look at that! So we're winning games right now, big time. There we go. Easy enough, man. We are winning big time games. We're going on a big time winning streak right here, which is exactly what I wanted to see. It's exactly what I, ex I was expecting, boys. My first line still popping up. And now that I've got uh, a stronger center line and a stronger defensive line as well, everything just can, can only work better, you know? So there we go. There's How many wins is that in a row right there? I think we are doing really good. I, I don't know why it's bugged out, though. It's bugged out to say that, uh, I mean... Look at that, boys. It's bugged out, so it doesn't tell me my record or anything. So that's uh, that's a bug in of itself. It's kind of uh, annoying. So that's going to be a loss right there. So after 10 games played, we can't see what's going on right there. So I guess we're going to go into calendar. So uh, hopefully it's going to pop it up if we go back right here. 
It's not. Okay, it's it's literally a glitch or something. It's a glitch, boys. Okay, let me just get back like this. And uh, if we head back now, still doing that. So we, uh, there's no possible way of me knowing what our last record was. That's kind of frustrating. That is not good. That's a big time glitch right there. All right. Well, I guess uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wins in a row before getting a loss. So that's eight and one. And uh, I guess we got a loss right there. So eight and two. Eight and two, boys. Crazy record right there. 101 points so far for Matthews. Uh, if we take a look really quick, uh, ever since we got our new players, what did they do within 10 games? Machizny, I'm hoping he's having a much better season now. I mean, 26 points in 70 games played. Not the best of first uh, for first uh, season. Not the best uh, first season, but that's okay. Byfield, what has he done so far? Six points in 10 games played. It's done okay. And uh, Newhook is doing pretty good. Uh, Malkin's doing all right, I guess. Uh, I want to see about Cider right here. What has he done for us? Two points. Okay, so it's not like they're overproducing or they're giving me a uh, crazy amount of stats. It's just that it balances itself out pretty uh, good. So I've got nothing else to see. Uh, we had a pretty good see uh, a pretty good simulation, so we're just gonna keep it going. There we go. We keep on winning, so I don't need to change any strats or whatever. Let's keep on winning games. There we go. That's two wins in a row. A third win uh, in a row right here against uh, the Oilers. That's gonna be a loss. We go. We're going up against the uh, Los Angeles Kings. We win that one. There's a win against uh, the uh, San Jose Sharks. And that's going to allow us, if we keep getting wins like these, there we go. Just getting, keep getting a winning streak right now with a big ass like uh, OP team that we got. We could potentially get another President's Trophy year. We could potentially get it, boys. We are, well, we're in the big time race with the Oilers in our own division. The Maple Leafs, which got Carlson now. And the Flyers, 112 points. Uh, the Flyers, I think, already clinched it, you know. Yeah, I think they already clinched the President's Trophy, so we're not going to catch them. But we can try and at least yeah, uh, get uh, on top of our division and stuff like that. So the LA Kings fired the head coach. That's going to be 8 games play or 80 games play right there. So we're playing very well. Uh, I can't, there's no way of me uh, for me to tell how many, uh, what our last 10 games of record was. So we're going to look that up, I guess. So it's going to be 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 5 and 1, uh, 6, 7 and 1, 8 and 1. Okay, so 8, 1 and 1. So an even better record because we got an extra point from that one. Oh yeah, we're doing good. I mean, they've got 114 points of Flyers. I got 108, but... Yeah, either way, I think they got the President's Trophy because uh, even if I win the last two games, I'm going to be put at 112 points. So it's still not going to be enough. So they definitely won it, the President's Trophy, the Flyers did. Uh, but there's a definitely, I'm still in the race for the Oilers against the Oilers. Against the Oilers for the, pre for the uh, division uh, championship. So I want to get our one. I definitely want to get our one. Let's keep it moving, boys. Let's simulate the last game, uh, the last two games. There's a go. There's a there's a win right there. Connor Carrick is back from injury. It seems like. Where was he playing? Or it's minor injury, I guess. Yeah, it was a minor uh, minor injury. So never mind that. And last but not least, uh, uh, Matthews did end up uh, going to the 40 goals mark at least. Let's see against the Blackhawks right here. And there it is. So there's a win as well. So we ended up finishing at 112 points. We finished strong ever, uh, with the big time trades I did. Definitely helped out our team big time. Now if we don't go too far or go far into playoffs, I don't know what to tell you guys. It's uh, it's going to be weird for me. We ended up taking the division uh, by ourselves. The Flyers took the entire uh, President's Trophy. They got it for sure. 116 points though. They got one hell of a season, 57 wins. 
Let's take a look. Uh, is everybody uh, played? Yeah, everybody played 82 games. So we're going to take a look first at the best teams of the league. Uh, we ended up, for our goals for per game, the best uh, goal scoring team, the best, uh, the second best defensive team of our division, the power play wise best power play, and the penalty kill in the middle, actually in the the worst penalty kills among the worst ones. So that's unfortunate. Uh, we want to know about the entire league. So entire league, let's just go for the points. So first place, let's see what we got, boys. So. Uh, the Philadelphia Flyers took it. Took it. We went uh, ahead and got uh, the second place. Who did not make it to the playoffs this year? The the Blues. It seems like did not make it to the playoffs, even though they had a lot of points. Unfortunate for them. Montreal Canadiens did not make it. The worst team of the league this year was the Minnesota Wild. Well, oh my God. Well, wow, that's rough. The Wild getting the worst deal of the bargain, and Pittsburgh Penguins. Not having a good season either, unfortunately for Crosby. I think it's maybe time for him to retire soon. Uh, best score of our team, Matthews with 40 goals. Best or 36. I think that's what ended up making Matthews not having 50. It's because he's got, an, he's got another score in his line. They're both snipers, so that's what was going on. But the best player, of course, Matthews at 113 points. Uh, Tara Vinen, 88 points. Uh, I think Matthews, that's a natural, yeah, that's his best season of his career, and he got it with us. So that's really fantastic. Tara Vinen, 88 points. Also his best season of his career, as you can see. We got Besser. Uh, Quinton Byfield finished up at 54 points. For us, he did 20, uh, 20 points in 22 games played, so point per game player with us. Uh, fantastic. We're going to bounce back him around. Uh, New Hook ended up having a season of 53 points. Might have been a, a weaker season than the last year. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, Malkin, 51 points. Even though he was playing on the fourth line the entire time, boys. Still 51 points. Pretty solid overall. But I think it would be time for him to retire. 38 years of age. It's only going to be bad for him. He's probably going to be in the 70s now. Uh, in the low 70s, uh, high 70s in the next uh, season. So... I think he should uh, stop. Toffoli Poliari. Uh, he did all right, I guess. What about Machisney? His first season in the league finished up at 34 points. 22 goals. So he's definitely a big-time goal scorer, boys. He's a goal scorer. Uh, we're just going to have to find the right teammates for him. I think it's going the right way with uh, Byfield and stuff. It's definitely going to help him out. Uh, but uh, Slider, what did he do for us? Six points ever since he uh, got traded for, uh, we traded for him. Uh, Goalie-wise, our goalie, 47 wins for Samsonov, boys. Uh, played fantastic for us. Tuka Rask, good season as a backup. So, uh, did his job as the backup. And uh, Samsonov uh, doing pretty good, having a good season. Now, let's take a look at the entire league. Entire league, best score was Tavares with 54 goals. And 50 goals for Ovechkin. So he got the 50 mark. Which does mean that he officially passed Gretzky for the most amount of goals in history, boys. In the, in the player's career. Crazy. So Ovechkin is officially the best goal scoring uh, player of all time. At 927 goals currently. If he keeps it up, how many seasons do you still have? Still another two seasons of contract, boys. There is a possibly out, a possibility out there if he does comply to his two seasons of contract. Still, uh, even though he is dropping up, uh, no, he's actually not even dropping. Uh, he started dropping. I mean, he's, he went from ninety five to ninety four. But it, there is a possibility that if he does continue his two seasons, he might get to the thousand goals. Imagine if he gets to the thousand goals. I am rooting for him. I am rooting for Ovechkin, boys. A player getting a thousand goals that would be the next level right there. So Matthews finished off as the best player of the league. Uh, Tavares 103, uh, Nylander 102, 101 for Marner, and then it goes Fosberg, Eichel, Marchand, Giroud, 
uh, making a big time comeback at 37 years of age, boys. Only 84 overall, and he's making uh, 91 points. Good for him. And we got Barkov as well. McDavid in there. So, McDavid, where is he at in terms of points in his career? 28 years of age. Yeah, he's in there. He's got a lot of points. We got Patrick Kane as well. Like, uh, a, great, a great career for him. All right, so if we take a look defense-wise, best defenseman was Lin, uh, Lin Holm this year. 86 points. Uh, Quinn Hughes is nowhere to be seen, boys. So not uh, not on top of the league this year, this time around, after two big-time uh, years. This time around, didn't do too much. Uh, he was all right, was good, but uh, wasn't the best. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Goalie-wise, Samsonov, I think, is probably gonna, has a good chance of getting the, the Vizina. Even though Jerry got 43 wins and is a little bit higher of a saving percentage. So it's a tough one between him, uh, Jerry, and uh, Hart, boys. So between Samson of Jerry and Hart. The rest is uh, all these goalies, as you can see right here. A rookie skater for this year. Let's take a look. Grabowski, uh, medium elite player. For the uh, Arizona Coyotes, is probably gonna ha uh, probably gonna have the uh, Calder this year. We've got Brent Lam uh, Lambert and stuff like that. So Zadorov and stuff. Lots of uh, big time players, boys. Just waiting for their opportunity. All right, let's simulate and see who we're gonna be facing off against in the first round. It's uh, okay. So finally, it came back right here. Uh, so. It's going to be the St. Jose Sharks. They're going to be the one that we're going to be facing, I guess. And now we can't look at the awards uh, because of this. So St. Jose Sharks are going to be winning the... Uh, the are, are going to be the ones face, we're facing. Let's take a look at what they have in front of them. So their team looks like Veselainen for the first line with Eklund. And uh, Nyquist. Uh, Nar uh, so N uh, Nyquist is on the first line. They do have a big time high elite prospect playing for them on the first line. So that's good. They got a prospect. They got Dylan Strom as well. I don't know why they're not playing him on the first line. Kind of weird. Uh, Couture, Meyer, Robinson. Yeah, they have nothing. They don't have any uh, offense. Their defense looks trash as well. Merkley is the best defenseman they've got, which is a prospect. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they've got nothing. So we're going to torch this team. We are absolutely going to torch this team, boys. Let's go straight into it. There is no reason as to why we shouldn't be able to torch this team at all. Uh, we got a stud-ass team. The be the second strongest team in the in their entire league. And we're facing off against a team that doesn't have anything. Anything whatsoever. Now, we are going to real-time simulation, which is kind of, uh, uh, kind of uh, a wild card, to be honest. Anything can happen in the real time. So that's kind of the crazy move right there. As you can see, they can, they are kind of keeping up with us. Even though they have nothing. They don't have an offense, defense, or goaltending at all. So they shouldn't be key, able to keep, in, uh, keep up with us at all. There we go. Toffoli scoring on Francouz, boys. So there it is. There's a first goal of the playoff right there. Look, uh, there's no reason as to why we should be struggling right here. So... You guys got this. Go ahead and score as many goals as possible on them. We should be able to torch them up big time. Let's go, man. 13 uh, sec uh, minutes left. 10 minutes left. We're still winning by one only. They got lots of power plays. We're getting some power plays. We're not scoring on them either. It's pretty much an even game because we're uh, shooting at the puck as may, uh, uh, pretty much the same. Devin Tays did get a... Uh, an empty net goal, which is going to give us the win. But it's kind of scaring me a little bit. I don't know why a team that has no, nothing, nothing on their lineup whatsoever. It's a, basically a dead team. Even though they got, somehow they got 45 wins with that team and for, with that lineup. Uh, yeah, I don't know how they can compete with us. So they do. we do have Matthew scoring for us. There we go. Pretty early on, which we like to see. The, there's no way they... They won't be able to score on us too much. Uh, maybe they're going to get a goal or two uh, if they get lucky enough. But they don't have anything. So they can't compete against us, boys. They, get, they got a goal. Uh, they, they got a goal from Bill Bell, 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 But Newhook is going to answer right back. Uh, power play. 
Power play goal for Logan Kutzer, boys. So their first power play goal in the entire playoff. Uh, we got a power play. Can we score on ours? Nope. We cannot score on our own power play, though. That's the real-time simulation being a dumbass, I guess. The real-time simulation hurting us right now, boys. Hurting us. Can we score on a power play? We're getting some chances here. We're not scoring. We're definitely out shooting them, out playing them. Another power play for us, and we are not capitalizing. Somehow, boys, we cannot find an answer against this team that doesn't have any lineup. Jerisek, of all players, is going to play. You know, I am not going to be fooled by real-time simulation. This is not happening. This is not happening, boys. They don't have a single team. Let's do quick time simulation. You'll see what I'm talking about. Quick time simulation. There's a what? 4 to 1 loss? What is going on? There is no way we are going to lose to a team who doesn't have a single good player in their team. You got to be shitting me. A bunch of 70 players? That's EA for you guys. That is EA for you. Look at my team. This right here is not enough to compete against a team that has nothing. Nothing at all. Like, seriously? A bunch of AHL players are going to beat up that team? Wow. Now, that, ain't that something, boys? Ain't that something? I am not changing my lineups. My lineups are fine as it is. I don't know what's going on here. But the game's just being a big-ass troll right now. How are we losing... To the St. Jose Sharks. This shit makes no sense. I am telling you right now. This should not be happening. This should definitely not be happening. We should be scoring at will against them. Matthews. There's a goal for him. There we go. And how do we. Like. There we go. Besser. How do we end up losing the uh, the third game. 4-1 first off. How did they end up scoring that many goals. That shit made no sense whatsoever. They got a power play. Can't score on them. We got three goals. That's how it should look like the entire time. We should be able to literally like drop their ass easily. We should be able to kill their ass. So let's go. 12 minutes. We're still doing really good. Let's go, boys. We got this. Let's kick their ass. There we go. Best or another goal. Second goal of the game. That's what I'm talking about right here. That's much more like it right there. All right. So we're going to the first uh, third period, the last one. Uh, still no goals for them. Malkin on the fourth line. There goes scoring for us. It seems like the per first line and the fourth line are working great together right now. Penalty kill time. We ended up killing it off. And Puri RV scores right afterwards. Timo Meyer is going to answer right back though. But uh, a bit too late. We are outclassing them in this game. Definitely having a big time comeback. Uh, there we go. So that's uh, going to be a tie boys. And I can't believe we're going to have to go to... The last game, a fifth game, in order to uh, finish these guys off. Makes no goddamn sense. But uh, I guess I'll roll with it. So let's go to the fifth game. Let's go to the fifth game and start simulating right away. Now it should be exactly like last game. We should be able to uh, out outclass them. Fist alignment is going to score for them. They get the first goal somehow. But Machisney, there we go. Machisney getting a goal. For uh, for uh, for us, Cation, Zach Cation, like what, 74 overall in the four, uh, third, fourth line, boys, gonna score a goal on us? Seriously? Come on, man. Game, EA, stop trolling me. Stop trolling me, EA. It's not funny. All right? It's really not funny. You're really gonna force me to go to the entire third period and, uh, and simulate and, and, and coach my team myself? I'm gonna do it if I have to do it. Son of a bitch. Goddamn EA trying to fool me, boys. Yeah, alright. It's going to force me. I'm, I'm entering it, boys. I'm not. If if there's anything I can do to stop my team from being dumbasses and lose to a complete like garbage team, I'm going to do it. I am not letting this goddamn rookie team beating my ass. That's just not happening, alright? Like, come on now. Alright, time to play some coach, boys. Making some coach decisions right here. We're going to uh, play big time right here. Make sure that our, our, our players play the right position right here. Uh, stay strong to strong right here. And play my lineups. All right. So first line is going to be in there. Uh, we got a whole period. A whole goddamn period, boys, to tie it off. 
There is no way they should be winning against us. It makes no sense. Why are you leaving Nyquist in there all alone like this? All right, change the lineups because you uh, you did awful right there. We're going to put the second line in there. Byfield, Machisney, and Toffoli, which I think Machisney was his very first goal in the playoffs. Uh, we cannot let him uh, down like this. Come on, guys. Play it up. Look how huge he is as well, Machisney, that is. Huge ass player. He, he looks uh, he looks big on the ice. We got Byfield in there. Go ahead, Byfield. Go ahead, shoot it. There I go. Get maybe a rebound or something, boys. All right, so uh, we are actually going to tell them to full four check. Full four check. Go ahead, continue. Slider's going to get in there. We got Toffoli. Uh, there we go. Up to Machisney right there. Machisney, shoot it. There it is. Holy shit. Look at that backhand, boys. Second goal of the game. Machisney getting a backhand shot. Weird ass shot as well. I, I can tell why it uh, kind of threw off uh, Francouz right there. Good lord, that was something. That was one hell. I'm keeping an end there. They're, they did well. They did very well. Contain the puck, yes. Yes, continue your play, boys. So Dumba is going to uh, drop it in. All right, move it in. Move it in. All right, shoot it. Maybe go for a rebound or something. Uh, Cedar up to McChisney again. There it is. Hat trick for McChisney, boys. Israel McChisney, our big time rookie, getting a hat trick. There we go. He's gonna he's gonna save our ass, boys. I'm telling you, he's our savior right now. Man, I can't tell you how happy I am to have a McChisney on our time on our lineup. This guy's really going to save our ass right now. This is what it should look like. We should be dominating them. If I have to enter the, uh, the, the game itself like this and play the coach, I'll do it. Machisney, shoot it again. Okay. I'll tell Machisney to shoot as much as possible. I mean, he got three goals already. All right, you got this, boys. Don't let Nike... Oh, we almost got a goal right there. Right in front, right there. Don't let him in like that. Don't let him in. We're going to have to uh, to swap up. Yeah, we're going to have to change lines right here. Byfield, all right. Get it up. Uh, get rid of the puck. Get to uh, change both uh, both pairs right here. Machisney, shoot it. There we go. He's got such a nice shot as well. Look at that. Every time he shoots, it looks like uh, he's giving uh, a lot of problem. Now, it is Francouz at 82 overall, but still, shouldn't be giving him that much trouble. So it looks like Machisney's got one hell of a shot, maybe. All right. Uh, you got the puck. Go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. Allison's gonna shoot it. Maybe rebound. Rebound again. Nice uh, saves right there by uh, Fanku. He's trying to save his team uh, from humiliation right there after being up 3 to 1 and uh, losing that advantage right here. So uh, go ahead, Shillington. It's gonna put up to Allison. Allison's gonna lose it in front of mi uh, in the middle right there, though. Uh, Ryan Strom, our former player, boys. Former player going right into the middle. Not gonna play. I didn't even think about that. The fact that we had uh, Ryan Strom, right? Uh, our former player playing for the other team. Oh, Rackel almost missed that chance. Austin's gonna get a shot. And Franco is gonna stop it. We're gonna put the fourth line in there with the third pair of, uh, of defense. Just making sure that everything goes according to plan, boys. This. It's something I really want. I really want this team to uh, uh, to uh, succeed right now. So I cannot do let uh, the uh, opposing team right now that has no players aside from our old one could get his revenge on us. I don't want that to happen. All right, let's uh, let's literally uh, do our thing. So Malkin's gonna get a shot real quick. I am gonna tell them to shoot it as much as possible. If they get a clear open shot. Uh, tell them to shoot, boys. So, uh, 36 remaining seconds on the period. Don't let Kutzer shoot like that. There we go. Get rid of the puck. Get rid of the puck. Okay. Uh, Yarn Croc's going to get rid of the puck. Uh, they're going to go for a dump in. Right there. That's going to work out. Go, Malkin. What the fuck are you doing? Malkin, uh, I don't know what he was doing right there. Yarn Croc's going to shoot it. Besser. Uh, Besser, shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it in front of the net, man. There's nine seconds left. Don't mess up anything. All right, so I'm going to go back to the first line. All right, back to the first line right there. Looks like we might go to an overtime unless there, I got something to say about this. First line, Matthews, win that goddamn faceoff. Couldn't win it. Yeah, I think we're going to overtime, boys. 
We're going extra time here. Don't let uh, the Salinen sh shoot like this. We are going to overtime, boys. Holy shit. That is stressful one. Machizny is my hero right now. I am going to keep the first line in there. I want them uh, to... I want to give them a chance. I definitely want to do that. Give them a chance to maybe uh, protect themselves. So, Okay, don't... No, don't, 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 don't. Please. Nightfist is the best player out there for them right now. 80 overall Nightfist is playing like a goddamn beast for them right now. We got to do some defensive pressure. Don't let him score, all right? Uh, ma make sure to uh, upgrade our defensive pressure right here. Dumba, get rid of, of the puck. Don't, don't lose the puck, Bester, in front of your goaltender, please. There you go. There goes Matthews right here. Matthew is right in front. Shoot it. Yeah, they're going to let him go like that. They're going to just let Matthews go like that. I'll definitely tell him to shoot it. I think my first line can still be in there. They haven't done too much uh, just yet. They've been helpful for me during the, uh, the first round so far. But in this game itself, they haven't done too much. So uh, it's all about the second line, I guess, with Machizny. But right now, I am trusting them. Don't let fucking Nike Fist beat your ass. <sighs> I'm done. I'm fucking done, boys. I don't know what to tell you. Fucking Gustav Nike Fist, my 80 overall player on the first line. That's the best player they've got. An 80 overall player. And uh, I guess he's enough because he's going to eliminate us. The second strongest team in the division. In the entire league. What the fuck happened right here? Machisney did everything he could. I should have played the second line, boys. The first line was utter trash in this game. Well, there it is. We're eliminated in the first round by a god-awful team. And they're probably going to be eliminated next round easily. What the fuck am I supposed to do? This is ridiculous, boys. Well, look at that. Would you look at that? Nashville Predators ended up winning a second cup in a row. Set uh, two cups in a row, boys, for the Nashville Predators. They win another one, uh, and of course, probably if we go see to the uh, go see the actual uh, what you call it, the actual awards, we're probably going to see the uh, the Saint Louis Sharks being like literally eliminated straight afterwards, like swept or something. I swear, if that's the case, I'm going to lose my mind. The EA literally played me like a fiddle. It's crazy, uh, Minnesota. Ending up uh, not losing the draft lottery. Nobody lo lost the draft lottery. It actually stayed the same. That's quite interesting. So Minnesota getting the first draft. All right, then. Good for them. Uh, and uh, let's view the retired players. Let's see what we got. Retired players this year, boys. Getzlav, uh, uh, 1,100. Uh, and same thing for Stahl. So Getzlav, Stahl, both of them are going to retire. Curry Perry. So big time players, um, Paul Stashny, Heberly, uh, Ornquist, all these guys, Lucic. Got lots of players that decide to retire. Uh, defensive wise, we do have Chris Leta. Chris Leta retiring, boys. So he had his moment with us. He had about like two years with us um, uh, almost uh, to play with us. He did all right. And then uh, he finally decided to retire. So great career for him. Uh, Shea Weber. Is signed to retire as well. We got Spurgeon and Petrie as well. So okay, Montreal just lost both of their defensemen. Okay. And McDonough going to retire as well. Vlasic, uh, Johnson. Lots of defensemen. Big time names. We also have Jonathan Quick and the goalie wise. Elliot Dumnik. So this is where lots of goaltending. Uh, lots of players decide to retire. Uh, what about us? Who do we lose? We lost Ornquist, Grabner, and Delzado, boys, for the minors. And uh, defensive uh, goaltending-wise, we lost Elliot and Dumnik. So both are goaltenders for the minors. So we lost quite a lot, boys. And uh, Paul Stashny did become uh, a scout. Coach retirement. I don't see anybody on our side. We'll, about, we'll find out, though, if uh, any coaches decide to retire. Let's uh let's see really quick if that's the case. It isn't. So the coaches are still the same. Uh so still the same coaches and everything. So uh what we got is I want to look really quick. 
where the awards i want to see uh th that's not actually yet i want to see the playoff round there we go playoff progress so where did he end up going yeah uh pretty much the uh st Jose sharks got defeated pretty convincingly three to one against the vancouver canucks in the second round and we struggled against them and we ended up losing in overtime in the fifth game what the fuck we had the stronger second strongest team this fucking game ea makes no sense boys it never made sense it's one of those things that never made sense it's never like i think need to change it i don't know why it still works the same as the old games you have you can have the best team in the entire league you come down the playoff you simulate real-time simulation what happens the worst team possible can win against you and eliminate you for some reason makes no goddamn sense boys all right well uh we got the krakens i think i, I i'm pretty much done we're gonna look at the uh, individual awards right here team awards uh let's just look individual awards so matthew is getting ultra ultra uh, art thing right here we uh we got the art memorial art ross both of them james norris lynn home lady bing matthews calder grabowski cons mife bovidier uh, Vizna going to Jerry, William Jennings going to Jerry, uh, Bill Masterton, Lambos, and uh, we uh, Boshme. So we, uh, the St. Jose Sharks got the Jack Adams for the best uh, coach. Uh, Frank Selke for Ryan uh, O'Reilly, Ted Lindsay, Matthews, uh, Maurice Richard uh, going to Tavares. That's pretty much it. I'm not going to go to the draft lottery uh, this year. I'm not going to go uh, at it just yet. I've got one last year, right? Because how many years did I put up right now? I'm 20, uh, 25, right? Yeah, this is going to be my last year. I said, I did say in the previous uh, video, I, I believe, that I had five years of contract to actually win the cup. I got one more year. Got one more year to try everything in my possible mind to win the cup, boys. I thought it would have been this year, or at least we would have gone far with the team we had. I guess it wasn't enough. So we'll see how it goes. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. We'll see, uh, we'll do the draft pick in the next one. Keep it easy, boys.